What is going on guys, COD Gameplay here, and today I got another episode of how to be better in Call of Duty. This is part two of how many parts I get till I finish all my notes. And this game I'm using an FAL, probably my, this is definitely my second favorite gun. Um, right to start off, I know there'll probably be comments saying, oh, you got a mod, you got a hack, hack, hack mod. No, this is, this is pure trigger finger. If anyone was in my live stream, I demonstrated it in the sharpshooter that we played. This is pure trigger finger, baby. So, starting out, you gotta know your limits with your guns. Now, the gun that I'm using right now is an FAL. It is a long distance assault rifle. I can shoot it. Long distance, I can burst fire. Um, short distance, I can just spray it like that. And it is this FAL is probably one of the most versatile guns in the game. If you have, if you have a fast trigger finger, I definitely suggest it. If you can get used to it, it's amazing. So another thing is you got to use cover to your advantage by standing or crouching behind an object. So you'll notice in so many instances, um, people are standing behind cover when really they could be crouching. Or sometimes people won't even use cover. Cover is something that is used so little by average or uh, bad players, but by uh, skilled players it is used so much. Cover is one of those things that is integrated into the game just just ever so like slightly. It's kind of it's kind of hidden a bit, but once you become a better player, you definitely notice all the cover spots that you can use for your advantage. So, in Call of Duty, you shoot out of the very, very tip of your head. I bet most of you guys know this, but if you are pretty new to Call of Duty, um, you shoot out of the very, very tip of your head. You do not shoot out of your chest, out of your gun, you shoot out of the very tip of your head. So, what that means is that if you're crouching behind something, and you could just barely see over, let's just say, those sandbags, well, guess what? The enemy that would be looking at you... Oh, they can only see your head. They can only see up to your nose. That is a massive, massive advantage. When a gun, when to kill someone is like three shots with an FAL, um, it takes no damage whatsoever to kill someone. This is not Halo. You can kill someone in an instant. So, when it's so fast paced, you gotta have as many advantages as you can. So another thing is, when you're running away from a gunfight, always look down at the ground and use your mini-map. Um, okay, so this is kind of, I don't know, this isn't something massive, but I always do this. If I'm ever in a gunfight, I'm just barely holding on, or if I know that I cannot win that gunfight, what I'll do, I'll look straight down at the ground, and I'll just start running. Why I look straight down at the ground, you ask? Well, the reason for that, in Call of Duty, your player animation, when you look straight down to the ground, your player is bent over 90 degrees. And that 90 degree angle will cut your animation in half. So now you have a half percent chance of the enemy killing you. Also, if you're running away looking down, all they can see is your butt to your legs. So it is impossible for them to get a headshot on you. Now this is a lot more difficult for them to get a kill on you, although when you are running away, you know that you cannot kill them. This is a last resort to um, whatever you do. So you look how I just kind of use this claimer. I know it's there, so I just throw the nade. I don't engage because I know I'm going to win. And so you just got to always know your surroundings. Another thing is knowing your surroundings. Um, Keep watch of your teammates on your map, okay? If you're not playing free for all, if you're playing a team-based game, you always have to know where your teammates are. Because wherever your teammates aren't, that's where the enemy's gonna be. If you're playing team deathmatch, I never ever go with my team. I always go around the map. Always stay on the outside of the map. Do not try to stay in the middle. Stay in the middle as least as possible. And if you're gonna stay in the middle, make sure that you have cover on as many sides as possible as well. That was a nice little kill right there. Trigger finger, for sure. Um, so staying around the outside edges of the map, in free for all or any game mode, look how I'm just dominating this little area. This outside of the map, um, I, there's spawns outside of the map. Spawns really do not happen on the very inside of the map. Very rarely do they happen. So, if you're playing TDM, like I said, if you don't have a silent, what I usually do is I will 
not write a silencer. Because I want the action to come straight to me. Revenge kills are so prominent in Call of Duty. Because someone will die by you. Oh, I can see your kill cam. I know exactly where you are. I'm going to come back. I need to get this guy. I need to get this guy. Because I just died by him. I just by died by him twice. I need to go get him again. Revenge kills are so, so common in Call of Duty. And for that reason... You gotta always change your purpose, your position. Don't always stay in the same place. But if you do, make sure that you know where the enemies are. So that is the end of this commentary. I'll catch you guys later. Please give it a like if you guys enjoyed, or at least a rating. If it's a dislike and you really hated this, even how much effort I put into this, go ahead and dislike it. A rating helps me so much because you you guys cannot imagine how much. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna create a video on what likes and what ratings actually do. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later, and see you guys. Peace.